Hi everyone! Continue tayo sa ating lesson. So ngayon is nasa grade 5 math tayo, quarter 4, module 3, lesson 1. Ang lesson 1 natin is estimating and solving volumes using appropriate strategies and tools. So paano tayo mag-estimate at mag-solve ng volume? Meron tayong example dito, Anthony dug a compost pit which measures 3.05 meter long, 1.5 meter wide, and 2.4 meter deep. Because he wants to have an organic fertilizers for his vegetable garden. How many cubic meters of soil were removed? So ito ngayon yung problem natin. Ngayon, gagamitan natin siya ng steps sa pag-estimate. Steps on how to do the estimation. So step 1, round off to the nearest whole number. So paano ba tayo mag-round off? I-review natin kung paano tayo mag-round off ng mga number. So, first, look at the number after the decimal. So, meron tayo ditong given, titingnan natin yung mga number after the decimal. So, for example, kung meron tayong 1.2, saan yung number after sa ating decimal? So, itong 2, kasi ito yung ating decimal at ito yung number after the decimal. So, ito yung titingnan natin. Look at the number after the decimal, after the decimal point. If 0 to 4, Kung ang number after the decimal daw is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, remain the number. So, mananatili ang 1. Ibig sabihin, kapag 1.2 ang i-round off mo, magiging 1 siya. Kasi, ang number after the decimal point is 2. And ang rule natin, kapag ang number niya after the decimal point is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, so i-remain natin ang number. But, if it is 5 to 9, round up the number. For example, 1.5. So, ang number after the decimal is 5. Ibig sabihin, round up. So, si 1 is magiging 2. Okay? So, ganyan mag-round off ng number. Ngayon is meron tayong actual given number base sa ating problem. So, ang problem natin again is ito. So, meron siyang uh, 3.05 meter long. Ibig sabihin long, ang kanyang length is 3.05 meter. And then, 1.5 meter wide, ibig sabihin width. So, ang kanyang width is 1.5. And then, 2.4 meter deep, ibig sabihin kung gaano siya kalalim, ang kanyang height is 2.4. So, ito yung given natin. Ito yung actual given number natin. Now, i-estimate na natin siya. Base sa ating rules na nandito. So, 3.05, ano yung number after the decimal point? Zero. So, ibig sabihin, mananatili si 3. Okay? So, mananatili si 3. Ibig sabihin, ang estimation natin dito kay 3.05 is 3. Ang width niya naman is 1.5. Ano yung number after the decimal point? 5. So, ibig sabihin mag-round up tayo or dadagdagan natin si 1 ng isa. So, magiging 2 ang 1.5. And then, ang height niya is 2.4. Ang number after the decimal is 4. So, ibig sabihin mananatili si 2. Kasi 0 to 4 na number is mananatili yung ating number. So, 2. Meron na tayong estimation. Ang length natin is 3, ang width natin is 2, at ang height natin is 2. Ngayon is pupunta na tayo sa ating step 2. So, ang step 2 natin is identify what formula are you going to use. So, ano yung formula na gagamitin natin sa pag-solve ng ating problem? Base sa ating given, meron tayo ditong length, 3 meter ang estimation. Meron tayong width na 2 meter ang estimation at height na 2 meter ang estimation. So, base sa ating given, Ano yung formula na gagamitin natin? Ang formula na gagamitin natin is volume is equal to length times width times height. Kasi meron tayong length and width and height. So, ito yung ating formula. Pero na tayong formula which is volume is equal to length times width times height. Pupunta tayo sa ating step 3. So, ang step 3 natin is Substitute the estimated number in our formula and use the measuring units of volume given. I-substitute na natin ang ating estimated number. So, ang formula natin is volume is equal to length times width times height. And ano yung estimation natin? Ang ating length is, balik tayo sa 2. Ang ating length is 3 meter. Ang ating width is 2 meter. At ang ating height is 2 meter. So, gagamitin na natin ang ating estimation. Volume, ano yung length natin? 3 meter. Tapos, ang width, multiplied by the width, 2 meter. Multiplied by the height, 2 meter yung height natin. So, isolve na natin siya. So, 3 times 3 meter times 2 meter is equal to 6 meter squared. Kasi 3 times 2 equals 6. Meter times meter is equal to meter squared, or dalawang meter na sila. Times 2 meter. 
So, 6 times 2 is equal to 12. And then, meter squared times meter, ilang meter meron tayo? Tatlo. So, bakit dalawa? <laughs> okay, so dapat cubic meter ito dito. Okay? So, kasi meter squared times meter is equal to cubic meter. 6 times 2 equals 12. And meter squared times meter is equal to cubic meter. So, ang volume natin is... 12 cubic meter. O, oh, ayaw niya na naman. Ayan. So, 12 cubic meter. So, therefore, about 12 cubic meter of soil were removed. So, di ba, mas madali mag-estimate kapag naka-round off yung number natin. Kasi kapag mag-estimate tayo tapos ito yung i-multiply natin, mas matagal tayong matapos na mag-multiply. While kung naka-round off siya, ganitong mga number, ang i-multiply natin, pwede kahit sa isipan lang natin gawin, makakagawa tayo ng sagot. So, i-multiply mo lang si 3, si 2, at si 2. So, meron na tayong sagot. Kesa i-multiply natin si 3.05, si 1.5, at si 2.4. So, ganon ka-useful ang estimating or estimation. Another example tayo para mas maintindihan talaga natin. So, a divan is 9.1 meter long, 7.5 meter wide, and 5.3 meter high. What is the estimated volume of the divan? So, i-estimate natin ang volume ng divan. Step 1 natin is round off the nearest whole number. So, ang given natin long is length. So, ang length niya is 9.1 meter. Wide is width, that is 7.5 meter. And then high is height, that is 5.3 meter. So, i-estimate natin siya. So, i-round off muna natin. 9.1, round off to 9. Kasi, ang number after the decimal point is 1. So, 9, mag-remain yung 9. 7.5, i-round off natin, or i-round up. Round up natin siya sa 8, kasi 5 ang kasunod na number sa decimal point. And then 5.3, mananatili si 5, kasi ang kasunod ng decimal point is 3. So, ito na yung number uh, estimation natin. Ang kanyang length is 9, ang kanyang width is 8, at ang kanyang height is 5. Ngayon is step 2 na tayo. So, identify what formula are you going to use. So, base sa ating given, merong length, merong width, at merong height. Siyempre, volume is equal to length times width times height pa rin yung formula natin. So, step 3, substitute the formula with the estimated number. I-substitute na natin ang ating formula. So, volume is equal to length. Ang length natin is 9 meter. Times width is 8 meter. Times height is 5 meter. So, 9 meter times 8 meter. 9 times 8 is equal to 72. Meter times meter is equal to meter squared. Times 5. So, 72 times 5 is equal to 360. Meter squared times meter is equal to cubic meter. So, ibig sabihin, ang volume ng ating divan is 360 cubic meter. Ay, nako, ayaw niyo na talaga. Okay, so ito yung sagot natin, 360 cubic meter. That's all for today's video, guys. See you in our next lesson. Bye!